Welcome back! We have finished talking to uh, Gerda, and I think it's time to explore the castle a bit. Can we take any of these potatoes? Gabriel is sure he'll end up getting some of those for our meal, sooner or later. I suppose. Let's see, we can go upstairs, or we can go to the right here. Let's go there first. Looks like a chapel of some kind. Perhaps it's an illusion caused by the colored lights from the window. But this chapel gives Gabriel a sense of something truly mystical. It is a pretty nice uh, chapel for a private chapel. That depiction in the stained glass window looks uh, awfully familiar. A magnificent stained glass window depicts the legendary battle between St. George and the dragon. St. George. Quite a famous saint, even to a non-Christian such as myself. The story of um, his defeat of the dragon, who I believe was uh, blocking the water supply for his city and demanding uh, sheep and maidens in sacrifice to allow the uh, citizens of the city uh, access to their water supply until, of course, St. George came along and defeated this dragon. I primarily know him as the uh, patron saint of scouts, because I used to be in uh, sea scouting. Anyway, um, let's see. There's an altar at the front here. A plain wooden altar occupies the center of the chapel. A cushion kneeler at the bottom indicates that the altar is a place of prayer. I see. Anything else? Some tapestries? Three panels hang from each side of the chapel. Gabriel cannot determine what their purpose might be. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see what they depict without at least some context. For now, let's uh, look around some more. I don't think you can go to the south here. Nope. Well, let's try upstairs. That's not the way to get upstairs. Wolfgang's bedroom, I presume? Wolfgang's bedroom would hold Gabriel's entire studio four times over. Not exactly cozy, but Gabriel could get used to it. At least there's a nice fire burning here. Either Wolfgang left very recently, or Gerdy feels quite at home in this room herself. Or she just keeps the fire stoked uh, in case he comes back. Kind of reminds me of uh, Mordak's room, only nicer. It's the biggest bed Gabriel has ever seen. Just imagine what he and Malia could do in there. Near the bed is an elaborate wooden door. I wonder where that leads. It's locked. That's too bad. Maybe that leads to the library. Quite an interesting looking door frame as well. The head of a lion stares at Gabriel from above the door. And it looks like there's something written on it. The portal says. Nur de Reinste darf passieren. Diesen Herz ist rein wie Glas. Diesen Seele rein wie Führer 
Try to turn a dirt portal. Yeah, getting someone uh, with a Cajun accent to try and speak German, apparently not a good idea. What could it mean? Well, I have some idea. My German is not great, but good enough to uh, get the gist of that poem. But I wonder if maybe uh, Gerdy knows anything about that poem. I'll have to ask her. At the foot of the bed is a small table. A gothic-style window looks out over an incredible view. How nice of you not to show us that view. A large display case hangs on the wall. It contains a scroll. A scroll? I wonder what that's about. This scroll looks interesting. And it still looks like it's in there, but apparently we took it. Let's read it. St. George, patron of the light, who hunts the shadows of the night. Upon my blood I call thee now, purify me, for I avow to set my feet upon thy road, thy sword I take up for mine own. Hmm, I wonder what that's about. Of course, Gabriel cannot let an opportunity to check his hair go by unpassed. It's a chamber pot. Take me back to the 20th century, please. I hope this uh, castle has some decent plumbing. Because I really don't fancy having to use a chamber pot. There's a small pair of grooming scissors on the cabinet. Cab Gabriel takes the scissors. Um, doesn't look like there's anything else here, so let's ask Gerde about the uh, poem over the door. Hopefully she knows what that's about. Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah, of course. Uh, we can ask her about the panels as well, it seems, in the chapel. What can you tell me about those wall panels in the chapel? The hangings? They describe the Schrattenjäger initiation ceremony. Really? What does that uh, entail? Tell me about the Schrattenjäger initiation ceremony. Each young man of the Ritter line must go through the ceremony when he dedicates himself to be a Schattenjäger. But what does the ceremony do? I do not know, Herr Knight. The only people present are the old Schattenjäger and the new. But I think it must be similar to a priest's ordination or a wedding, a ceremony of intent and oath. Yes. Is there a problem, Herr Knight? You said wedding. I'm okay now. <sighs> right. Sure. Is there anything else you can tell me about that initiation ceremony? I really do not know any more about it, Herr Knight. Well, since Wolfgang isn't here, that's going to be a bit difficult if we want to take that ceremony. There are some words over the locked door in Wolfgang's bedroom. What do they mean? Ah, yes. Wolfgang had me translate it as part of my English lessons. In English, it means... Only the purest here may pass. He whose heart is pure as glass. He whose soul is pure as fire. Through this portal passes higher. Great. Thanks. 
Sounds like we need to purify or something to get through there. And anyway, if that does lead to the library and only a Schattenjäger may enter the library, then I suppose there we have to uh, go through that initiation ceremony. However, we don't know exactly what we have to do. Let's investigate those panels again. Now that we know what they're supposed to be. Maybe we can discern more about them. According to Gerda, the panels outline the Schattenjäger's initiation ceremony. The first panel shows hands and water. So, I guess you need to wash your hands? Before the ceremony or something? The second panel shows hair and a knife. You need to cut your hair. Oh, Gabriel's gonna love that. The third panel shows a chalice on a table with ocean waves in the background. So you need to put a chalice with water uh, in the uh, on the table. I suppose that means the uh, altar here. I guess salt water considering they're ocean waves. The fourth panel shows a knife and a few drops of blood. So, we need to put some blood, presumably our own blood, into the uh, chalice. Using the knife we got from the wall. The fifth panel shows someone kneeling. Need to kneel at the altar. The sixth panel shows a scroll. And read the scroll, I guess. Okay. That uh, seems straightforward enough. Now, where could we find some of the things we need? Well, we don't have a chalice, but the uh, chamber pot might serve that purpose. We already have the scroll, the knife. Scissors could be used to cut our hair, but that's the second step. Where can we find salt? Hmm, what's that on the floor here? It's a shake of salt. Convenient! Is that a shake of salt? Yeah, salt. Mind if I take it? No. Thanks. Great! I think we have everything. We just need to find a place to uh, wash our hands. However, we'll have to do that in the next video.